Hey everyone, I'm Kevin Jory with Awaken Catholic, and this is Awaken the Saint. Today, we're looking at one of the four evangelists, St. Matthew the Apostle. Little is known about the life of this first century apostle before Christ, but what we do know is that once he encountered the Son of God, this tax collector's life drastically changed for the better. He was the son of Alphaeus and grew up in Capernaum on the Lake Genesareth. His life was full of many luxuries as a Roman tax collector, but one luxury he wasn't blessed with was a community who didn't see him as a low-life crook. Because of his status as a local tax collector, Matthew was viewed as a conspirator with the enemy and a scammer. He freely took money from the Jewish people to line the pockets of the Roman oppressors and possibly even his own pockets. It was after just one encounter that Matthew invited Jesus into his home for a meal. The scribes and Pharisees saw this and were surprised and appalled that he would associate with such a traitor. But as we all know, Jesus didn't come for the righteous, but for the sinners to repent. He was in search of the one lost lamb. From there, Matthew traveled with Jesus and the other disciples throughout their ministry leading up to the crucifixion. After the resurrection and Jesus' ascension into heaven, the real work of spreading the gospel began. It was Matthew that would record the teachings of Jesus Christ that we still read today. Matthew would soon come to be known as the Apostle of Ethiopia, where he did most of his ministry work for the next 15 years. It was said the King of Ethiopia had Matthew martyred during the celebration of Mass. Matthew had rebuked the king for trying to wed his niece even after she had given herself to the Lord. Throughout his ministry life, Matthew recorded the first gospel of the New Testament. Matthew's gospel begins with the infamous genealogy of Jesus, beginning with Abraham and going all the way up to St. Joseph, the most chaste spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. His goal was to show the Jewish people in detail the legitimacy of Jesus Christ as the Messiah through the power of reason to show that Jesus' lineage proved he was the son of David and the one they were waiting for. Matthew knew his audience and he knew they needed reason to conclude what the truth was. The best part, his approach to writing wouldn't have been possible surprisingly without his background as a tax collector. He had to know how to record the most accurate information when it came to his documentations. There's a famous saying that God doesn't call the equipped, he equips the called. He didn't call Matthew because he saw a righteous man who was trusted among his peers, but because of all he had in store for Matthew. Just because we sin doesn't mean that God will leave us on the sidelines to watch those who seem more equipped than ourselves. It just means that he has a little bit more to teach us to get exactly where he wants us to be. St. Matthew the Apostle, pray for us. Awaken the Saint is a three-minute daily show that unpacks the lives of the saints with practical messages for everyday life.